Hey Lawn Care Nation, in this video I'm going to show you how I sharpen my lawnmower blades using a regular handheld grinder. Coming up. Hey Lawn Care Nation, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how I just take a regular ordinary handheld grinder to sharpen my lawnmower blades. Now of course there's so many different options out there on the different types of machines that you can use to sharpen your lawnmower blades. There's uh, bench grinders, there's dedicated uh, lawnmower blade sharpeners uh, out there that can uh, be pretty costly. Of course the results you get from using a handheld grinder is not going to be the same as using a dedicated lawnmower blade sharpener uh, that's going to give you quick uh, efficient and consistent results time after time and get you that proper 30 degree angle that you need each and every time but that doesn't mean that if you're just starting out or you don't want to put uh, you know the money uh, into uh, you know purchasing some of those high dollar items that you can't get away with just using a standard uh, handheld grinder so rather than show you just a quick um, you know blade sharpening like I would normally do uh, you know on a weekly basis to just maintain the edge of blades um, I thought I would show you guys a more uh, in-depth um, you know sharpening process uh, so I thought uh, I would take some of these um, really old rusty uh, blades that have uh, seen better days and show you that even with a handheld grinder that you can uh, grind out a pretty decent edge on them and uh, still get a little bit more life out of them. Uh, so due to the uh, obvious noise that this is going to create uh, during this video, I thought I would just uh, sort of uh, walk you through the process first and sort of explain how I do it and then uh, we'll go outside uh, and uh, actually grind out the blade. So basically what I do with the blade is I basically just hold it in my hand. Uh, I take the bent or the handheld grinder in the other hand. And what I want to do is I just work my way from the outside edge in towards the middle and I try to keep the blade or the uh, grinder surface flat on that uh, angle that's on uh, the blade to start with. So basically I just have the grinder on and I'm working my way towards the uh, center of the blade uh, and just making uh, light passes over and over. If there's some big divots uh, or uh, you know damaged areas, you may have to dig in a little deeper with the grinder, but basically you're always working and you're trying not to, uh, you wanna always keep uh, the grinder moving so that you're not uh, discoloring the metal or creating uh, weak spots um, by overheating uh, the metal in areas and you'll notice that with uh, the metal instead of it being a nice chrome and shiny looking it'll start to turn purple and dark colored if you're in an area too long so you don't want that. Also if there's any big divots uh, from uh, you know damage to the blade uh, and you want to straighten that out I would say it's not entirely imperative that you do that. Um, you know, you can get away with, uh, you know, a bit of a, a little bit of a wave on there is not going to hurt it too much uh, and work it, uh, you know, towards the, the uh, center, like I was saying. But if you want to uh, get rid of any divots, then what I do is I'll take the flat end of the grinder there and I'll start just going down along the edge there over and over again uh, until I get past any sort of divot or hole. This of course, depending on how badly uh, divoted the edge of your blade is, can end up taking a ton of material off. And what you have to remember is that in the end, your blade has to be balanced. So you're gonna need to take that same amount of material off of the other end uh, so that the blade is uh, balanced. Uh, so like with this one here, uh, I don't know if you guys can see uh, the end there, but you can see that uh, little chunk or divot taken uh, off the end there. So that would require quite a bit of grinding to get uh, that to uh, a flat uh, edge there. And then once that's done and you're happy with that edge, then you start hitting uh, back along and following that uh, 30 degree angle that's on that blade and you want to start uh, you know cutting in to that flattened out surface that you uh, laid on the edge there and start putting back a sharp edge on that. In the end 
I always hit the back side of it just with one or two quick little passes, uh, just more to clean off the, the debris on the edge um, and uh, just so that I can see uh, that edge uh, you know, definition a lot clearer. So before we head outside, there's a couple things you're gonna need. Obviously, you're gonna need your blades. Uh, you're gonna need your handheld uh, grinder. Um, of course, you're gonna need uh, safety glasses are very important. Uh, and you're gonna need some sort of hearing protection because uh, working in close proximity, uh, not only the sparks, but also uh, the noise of the grinder can really damage your ears. So you wanna make sure you have that as well. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna move outside to do the grinding. Obviously, this creates a lot of sparks and uh, can create a lot of uh, you know potential fire hazard. Uh, so I always go outside uh, around the side of the house there, where I've got some uh, you know brick and concrete that the sparks can uh, you know fly against uh, without any sort of uh, you know danger of creating uh, or starting a fire. So just keep that in mind that you want to do this out um, you know in the open. Uh, or if you're in the shop, uh, make sure that you have nothing flammable around uh, where those sparks might potentially go and start uh, you know, a fire. So let's head outside and uh, get to the grinding. See here, I try to uh, grind out all of the imperfections as best as I can. Uh, you know, you can't get everything on it, and it's not going to be as straight as using a uh, you know um, actual blade grinder for them. But for the most part, it gets them uh, all good and ready to go. Nice and sharp. Then I'll take. Uh, some other tool, uh, anything I've got lying around that I can uh, put through the center hole and check the balance of them. So as you can see, not too bad. Maybe a little bit lighter on this side, so that means I gotta take uh, some off of this side. There you go, that looks like it's uh, fairly balanced. Sort of returns back to center. And that one's good to go.
So that's it for this one, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Uh, if you like the content that I create and you want to help support the channel, consider shopping through my Amazon affiliate store. I'll leave a link down below in the description. In the store, you'll find uh, some of the podcast t-shirts like this Entrepreneur one, as well as uh, all of uh, the products uh, that I've used and reviewed on this channel, as well as on the podcast. Uh, so that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.